Welcome everybody out there here to our next webinar about uh, JFT Invest at uh, JFT Brokers and the warm welcome in the name of JFT Brokers as well. My name, yeah, my name is uh, Stefan Friedrichowski as always when we talk about uh, JFT Invest, at least when we talk about JFT Invest in English. We have a similar webinar um, every week in German as well, you, and it's uh, mainly done by Chris. Um, but tomorrow I will do it in German as well. But anyhow, uh, we uh, stick to English here. JFT Invest is quite a cool trading platform and um, it's meant for social trading. That means finally what you're doing there is first you copy trades from other um, professional traders. That's the one thing. But the other thing is still that you act as a portfolio manager. And that means that you do all relevant decisions about what kind of strategies do you want to be copied into your JFD Invest account and um, with which amount of money. So the money allocation and risk management is done by your own as well. So it's not like um, talking about a wealth management and then you put some money into an account and hopefully it uh, went north. But no, here you are still involved and that's a good thing. Uh, we like that idea uh, that you are still involved and I can tell you I have a personal JFD Invest account which is growing quite uh, well but still I manage that account especially in times like uh, those weeks and months uh, when we talk about Brexit and all uh, relevant um, information we can get there those have an impact on trading strategies and that's why I for example look what kind of instruments are traded and um, especially if there are uh, is the British pound is heavily involved um, then I step out but I go already into the details. Let's really start with the basics so that everybody knows uh, what I'm talking about here. And um, the, as always, we go for my JFD Invest account. And uh, of course, we look for the highlights of last week. But before going into those details, uh, just um, to mention our risk disclaimer, we talk about trading here. And that means finally you do your own steps, but all those steps you do on your own responsibility. I think that's self-explaining, but nevertheless, it has to be mentioned at least once per webinar. As always, I mentioned highlights. So let's first start with highlights of last week. Um, and we sent around a newsletter uh, about um, the best performer of last week, and uh, that has been FX Global Performance Strategy, which is a quite cool strategy trading euro, US dollar, British pound, US dollar, so the so called cable, and US dollar, uh, Japanese yen. So you see, okay, there's British pound involved, um, so we have to look into that as well. And you see already the overall performance uh, since now close to one year. Um, Overall profit is uh, close to 30% with that strategy alone. But you see as well, oh, there's already a, a dip to the south here. Okay, let's talk about that later in detail. And we have had one step down here as well. But now strategy is up and running again uh, quite well. So the other top performing strategies of last week have been Hyperion and Goldmine. But um, so maybe we have a look to those as well. But you see already here a performance chart um, of a given strategy. Okay, and now mm, the question is, what else do we have and how you can be involved into uh, JFD Invest? So let's go for that. And mm, you find on our webpage at uh, JFD Brokers uh, one button which is investing and there we have um, uh, JFD Invest and that's what I go for now. <clears throat> and you will see uh, let's first scroll down to the most uh, relevant and maybe most um, important things here that are a, section, a selection of uh, five strategies, the top five performers overall. And you see when we are talking about trading strategies, it's not uh, a few euros um, per month. No, it's uh, 
quite profitable strategies and uh, heading by headed by uh, Hyperion, which is already close to 100%. And that we will see later within one year, which is really a, a remarkable result. You see other strategies performing quite well, um, but you see already some other key figures about those strategies. And here starts already the journey of uh, your own preferences. If you just look for performance, nothing else. You don't care about drawdowns. You don't care about uh, floating losses, which I explain later. Um, of course, your selection is easy. You go for a parian, nothing else. That's the top performer. And uh, later we will see that the strategy is trading DAX and uh, Dow Jones. And if that fits with your preferences as well, perfect. Then you would go for that. But maybe you have a different view, not only performance, which is okay, but maybe you, you have other things in mind as well. And that is thinking about drawdowns or and there's another naming here, which is called equity balance deviation. And equity balance deviation, which is for that strategy minus 40%, what does it mean? You open trades, and those trades might be in the minus, maybe even from the very beginning. Then you have what we call floating losses. And those floating losses are exactly the difference between equity and balance. Balance is always all closed trades in your account and equity is yeah the actual uh, result of your account so including all open trades and there are strategies around which might have higher floating losses as in this case you see a number of minus forty uh, percent which is a huge number yes but if you accept that kind of risk because those floating losses might even further go up uh, at a given time, then everything is perfect. If you think, oh, no, that's too much. Uh, I don't, I want to have a little bit more stability. Then you would select different kind of strategies here. So how you do first, how you can get involved in JFT Invest. So the four steps are quite simple. You open a JFT Invest profile, which is more or less a registration procedure with your email address and uh, password by your own. And then you might open a JFT Invest account as well. That's a special account. It, even if you have already a, a trading account at JFD, you still need that kind of JFD Invest account. Um, but the opening procedure is uh, easier because uh, all documents are already placed. But anyhow, uh, you need that kind of account. And uh, what's special about that? Two things. One, you trade within that account with a leverage of 1 to 100 um, because you are following professional traders and therefore you get the same conditions. And the other thing, <laughs> you might think, oops, uh, yeah, you cannot open any trade by your own. So if you think okay, within that uh, account you want to open a long trade on euro, US dollar, you can't do. That's okay because that is that account is only meant for those copy trading activities. So finally, you connect those two and then you select your strategies and you can follow any given strategy. Following a given strategy means that that master account, those trades are copied according to your preferences in terms of allocation, um, what amount of money you allocate for that given strategy and so-called risk uh, management uh, so you can say okay if the strategy is uh, losing for example 10 percent then please stop any activities and don't copy that strategy anymore so you have um, tools to to manage your your risk by your own uh, which is quite cool and that's all and then yeah you can just start um, and to to get a feeling about what additional information you have and you really should um, dive into those kinds of informations a little bit deeper because uh, finally uh, we talk about money and you select those kind of strategies and therefore it's good to have some more details about those uh, strategies which you might follow. What I do here now is part of 
that kind of selection procedure. I do always, when I um, care about my own JFT Invest account, uh, and what I do here is exactly the same steps you might do as well. So let's first start with FX Global because that was the top performer of last week. Uh, so you see overall close to 30% return. The so last month was not a good one, uh, we will see. And uh, year to date is uh, still in the minus, so it's recovering anyhow. And we have had an equity balance deviation, so maximum of floating losses uh, of a close to 40%. But that's not all what you uh, get to know about a, a certain strategy. Um, just clicking on that, <clears throat> then um, the next screen will open in a second um, that we get additional information uh, about that kind of strategy. Um, hopefully, yeah, uh, it will pop up here in a second because uh, I'm still uploading due to the webinar and therefore my internet is uh, sometimes quite slow so um, let me restart uh, sometimes that helps uh, to yeah now now I'm here uh, back again so what we see first okay some more informations growth we have had that already in the email picture we see right now the balance is uh, close to 3000 the equity same number that means um, there are no open trades as we speak you have additional informations um, further down the road here you have the monthly return table which is always uh, an interesting tool as well because if everything would be green that would be perfect uh, but it's close to that and for example, you can even see what kind of instruments are traded. And you see here those three already mentioned. And you see that a lot of trades have been already executed over one year, more than 1,000. So that kind of strategy is really uh, trading a fiend, meaning there's statistics behind the strategy. And that's uh, good. That's not only a strategy with 10 lucky winners and then we present those here. No, uh, there's statistics behind. So. Uh, it's a good strategy even um, as we speak yeah uh, it's good to mention uh, any strategy which is shown up here at JFD Invest uh, went through an in-depth review process before it's launched at JFD Invest and only those which uh, fulfill some certain criteria um, finally get the chance to be placed here but we have additional information as I mentioned Quite important is that equity balance deviation. Uh, that means the floating losses you might have even in your account when we trade that kind of strategy and you follow exactly that strategy. You see overall it looks quite good, but there have been two major events. One was here in November uh, last year uh, with the maximum equity balance deviation. And the other one was about here, um, that's uh, more or less exactly one month ago. Besides those spikes, it's behaving quite well. So, okay, those are extreme cases when the strategy has lots of open trades and those trades have been in the minus. But um, in this case, strategy managed to recover completely. I go back to and show you that in the second uh, in the next uh, picture. And here you might remember there was no recovery, close have, the trades have been closed, and therefore we have a minus in that account. So going back to the growth once again, you see we have that spike down here that was more or less fully recovered. But the other one in February uh, has not been recovered. Um, and therefore we have set it drawdown in that account. But now it's really like a rocket uh, going up, growing is, is, um, quite well. And so uh, and that's the reason why we have that as a top performer of last week. Um, you see, it's really a good slope of increase, which we can see here. Once again, looking to the strategy is the main part of how you go for JFD Invest. You act as a portfolio manager and acting as a portfolio manager uh, means you have to know what are you doing and this means what kind of strategies do you want to have within your JFD Invest account because the good thing is finally you 
do not decide for a single one. No, you create a portfolio and then you can say, okay, I like that one, this one, uh, because of equity balance deviation or whatever number you really uh, um, highlight for your own preferences. And then you do exactly that kind of selection process. So I mentioned Hyperion, um, which is a top performer at all. So um, now with a return of close to 90%. And uh, if you look here, once we start with balance, okay, um, equity is a little bit lower, meaning there are open trades and uh, those 600 euros missing uh, are the floating minus we have as we speak in that strategy. Overall, fantastic result. So growth uh, is now getting close to 100. Let's have a look to equity balance deviation here once again. And then we see the maximum number here. You see a different kind of behavior um, compared to FX Global performance, which we had uh, on the previous uh, screen here. That kind of strategy is a little bit more risky. It has a typical ever uh, floating loss of maybe about 10%. Um, during the last couple of months, it was much lower. Um, but anyhow, uh, we have to accept that our overall risk is higher, but, and that's a good thing, our return as well. Honestly, that's a typical behavior. The more risk, the more potential return. Um, that's always uh, when it comes to trading, but uh, yeah, you can see it here as well. Looking to the traded instruments, you see what I mentioned already, mainly DAX and Dow Jones. Uh, lots of trades, yes, so statistics behind. And uh, yeah, then it's, for example, up to you, you like it or not. Just going, here's uh, some more details, but you can see here additionally is one important number, which is a minimum investment sum. In this case, it's uh, 1,500 euro. And uh, that means you have to allocate at least that number uh, to follow that, that kind of strategy. So if you don't have in your JFD Invest account uh, one and a half thousand, um, then it would mean you cannot follow. As we speak, we have 20 investors into that strategy and the overall um, assets under management. So the, the, the sum up of those 20 accounts is 62,000 euros, um, which is okay. Um, so you see how many people are following um, already with real money, that strategy and oh, real money. All those strategies are, of course, real money strategies and not any um, demo accounts. I mentioned I have a JFD Invest account. Okay, <clears throat> let's look into that because with that account, I'm doing, let's say, exactly the same you would do if you uh, invest uh, via JFD Invest. And what you see here is, first of all, the balance of my JFD Invest account. Since the very start of JFD Invest, which has started uh, here, you have seen that there are strategies which are older, which is good. Uh, but we started JFD Invest in September last year. And I opened an account with 10K. And during those seven months, I have been earning net close a little bit more than 3k uh, that's a good result isn't it so you see the potential of what you can achieve with jfd invest here and what you see else and that's something we have to talk about as well and i forgot to mention on my last screen um you see here return is 44 percent and we see here okay a little bit more than 3k 3200 hey where's the difference yeah the difference is performance fee the performance fee is 25 percent for each uh, strategy and there are a lot, lot of good things about that <laughs> okay let's start with hey isn't that number high i have to pay 25 percent performance fee the good thing is only if the strategy is earning money so from your overall return, um, so if it's positive, uh, then 
you will lose uh, one quarter. Okay, what does it mean? Hmm. As you see here, I'm still really um, with my 3K earned. Um, I think that's a remarkable result within a little bit more than half a year. So if that goes on further at the end of the year, uh, of that year, I would have earned um, 6K. Ooh, yeah, 60% of my 10K. So that's uh, a remarkable result. So I don't care about that fee. Um, and I only have to pay it uh, if we have profits. And then second thing for, for performance fee is, um, I have to mention that is um, calculated via high watermark, which finally means only if a given strategy reaches new highs on a month's end base, then I have to pay fees. So um, it's not like going up 1K um, and I have to pay 250 euros, strategy goes done, goes up 1K and I have to pay once again 250 euros. No, that's not high watermark. Only if you reach new highs. So we would, would go up once again 2K. Then I have to pay again 250 only on the additional 1k i have to pay that fee um, so that's high watermark i think that's a quite fair uh, way of how to calculate performance fees you might be interested what strategies i'm following as we speak let's look for my current allocation so you see that i'm invested in six uh, strategies euro dream power fix archimedes volcano gold mine balance and you may ask Hey, why not Hyperion and FX Global, which uh, we have been looking closer? Okay, two different answers. First answer, I'm not in Hyperion because hmm, uh, that kind of equity balance deviation is on a long run for me a little bit too much. That's my thinking about that. Um, and why I would go for FX Global because as we have seen, the, there was a spike in equity balance deviation, but overall it's uh, looking quite well. Um, so a little bit less risky than Hyperion. But that strategy is trading British pound. And I would start any strategy with British pound only after 29th of March. Um, let's wait. I have no idea what really is happening around with uh, UK. So, and since within that strategy, there's uh, yeah, one third of our trades are executed with British pound, US dollar. <clears throat> Therefore, I just wait one additional uh, week. So, <clears throat> at least in two weeks, I think I will restart and I will follow FX Global once again because I like that strategy. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm still a portfolio manager and I'm still um, following my own preferences. And that's exactly what I recommend for everybody. Uh, always having in mind, hey, we talk about money. So risk um, management first. And then that's, yeah, we have to look for our own preferences. What kind of drawdown are we willing to accept? And uh, what kind of floating losses are we willing to accept? And looking for all those details then you can do finally your own selection up to now i think i did a good job here while it was my selection um, procedure um, earning now uh, a gross return of close to 45 percent um, and i have still a steady slope within my growth or my balance here so yeah i think if that goes on perfect but that's exactly what you would realize if you follow JFT Invest. So you can achieve same results. And if you're looking at all those webinars, you can even um, go for the same account, uh, same allocation than I do, whatever. I think JFT Invest um, is a quite cool platform for anybody to follow strategies which have remarkable single results. And now combining them as a portfolio yeah, it's of course the next step. And then it's up to you doing similar steps like I do here. Um, 
my recommendation is always look into some more details that not only to the number of profits have those other numbers in mind and then you can really earn money with jfd west okay that's for now uh, hopefully uh if you have any further questions and uh please don't hesitate and uh, send me an email or me personally at s.friedrichowski at jfdbrokers.com or you just uh, send an email to support at jfdbrokers.com and we will help you uh, whatever is needed uh, certainly and finally yeah i hope i hope you enjoyed the webinar uh, got a few more informations about jfd invest and uh, see you again hopefully next week have a good day bye bye